Hi guys, we are doing another gear review here with B Adventures, so welcome back to B Adventures. Um, basically, it's going to be on tripods, and this is going to be about um, one of my favorite tripods. So, before we get too far into it, I'll just cover, because it's pretty straightforward guys, but they're commonly known as a, a Gorillapod or Octopod. Okay, so I'm going to be covering this particular version, very nice. Now, the reason why, I'm going to tell a little bit of a story. You know me. If you've seen my videos, I love stories. Um, I started off just getting these cheap ones. Okay, you can get them, you know, around the world for like $2, $3, really cheap. And the problem is, they are very, very flimsy. So, again, you think, hey, so what, $2, $5, whatever, right? They're not strong, especially if you're using heavier cameras. No way will a DSLR, a bigger camera, work on this. It'll just fall over. It could literally be a gust of wind, you're trying to get that awesome shot, and then boom, you've damaged your expensive camera. Um, basically, yeah, so don't trust them. See, this has a ball joint. It has a ball joint. What I mean by that is it uses a ball. See? And the problem is, again, you've set up this beautiful, perfect shot for a photo or a video, and then boom, boom, okay? And just for whatever reason, it just starts moving around. So usually ball joints are not very secure or strong or stable. So stay away from these guys, these are junk, okay? You get what you pay for. Uh, you know, even if it's $2, $3, don't waste your money, okay? Don't get them. All right. Okay, so this is my Canon camera. I've, I've done a review on this already. Go ahead and check it out. My Canon iXs. But basically, these ones are pretty cool. I liked it just because, you know, I'll admit, it was a cool factor. It's this, they often call a three in one, two in one, like pistol grip. Uh, what I found was the best, and kind of silly, because you have more surface area long wise, it's probably better to mount it long wise. See? So, you know what? Sorry guys, I'll just quickly demonstrate. That's why I got it. Okay. So, I found that was really good because it's very stable. But I ended up holding it like this. Because I want that stability of the surface area. More, more surface area. Okay? So I'm doing this. You know, just give me a demo. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't put a battery in. Sorry guys. But you get the idea, you know, holding it like this for a selfie, cool. Um, as I was saying, geez, what happened? I'm putting in a bad battery. Oh, it's no battery. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. As I was saying, if you do it like this, that's a problem. You, it will it will bobble like that. I'm just exaggerating, but it will do that. And if you want to mount it like that. Okay, sure. So, but see, not, not as versatile as you like, not as flexible, it's very stiff. It must look at the base, okay? It must be on a wide area, like a table or something. So not that versatile, so I actually don't recommend these. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pack this up and I'll, and I'll go get back to the, the gear review. Okay guys, so basically, that's how I came to these octopods or gorilla pods. Now, I did play around some other cheaper ones, but they actually broke. So that's why I don't I want to demonstrate it, and also because I don't want to waste too much time. I'll just get this out of the way for now. But um, basically, this was the first one I got. I actually paid $30 Australian for it. I got it from a retailer here in Australia, uh, just generic, meaning didn't didn't particularly have a, a name to it. And I basically took this, geez, three trips. So that was three trips to the Philippines, uh, a trip to Vietnam, and on regular everyday use. Why I find it so versatile, actually, I'll, I'll show you what happened. I'll just, I'll get to the point. I tried to super glue it, but I'll just break it. See, it broke. But guys, three years of use, and four trips overseas, and regular use in Australia, they're excellent, 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 excellent. What had happened was, um, some kids broke it. So they were my friends, and they have young children, and I didn't have any sort of toys for them to play with while catching up, so I said, hey, I've got this gorilla pod, octopod, you know, take this, and the kids were playing with it while we are talking, while the adults were talking, and then they they actually reefed it so hard, they, like, all day, they were just sitting there for, like, 10 minutes doing that until they eventually broke it, you know, young kids. But I wasn't upset, like I said, guys, three years, and I've been using it pretty much regularly, you know, for almost, for a lot of my videos. Um, certainly worked very, very well. Um, so I liked it so much, I went, you know what, this is such a winner, I'm going to get another one. So we'll get on to a working one. What it has here, so they're pretty straightforward guys. 
For those of you who don't understand the concept, it's flexible. And I didn't realize what was inside until the kids broke it, so that was helpful. See it's wire? Sorry, there's glue there. See how it's actually like wire? It's like a thick piece of flexible metal, like a thick piece of wire, and that's what allows it to be so flexible. Yeah? And what's great is, you know, I'll, I'll use this one because it's broken. You know, you could, you could really wrench down on it, you can put it on a, like a, a seat or a chair and use it, you know, to, to be a tripod there. Or you could use it in a more traditional fashion like this, standing up. You know, you can mount it to a, a, a wall of some kind or a tree or a branch. So it's actually very, very creative. So that's why this is now my favorite tripod. Obviously, bigger professional reinforced ones are the best, but I, it's very hard for me to travel with those. You know, it's more weight, more bulk. So this can easily fit in your pocket or a backpack. I actually found these, these scales, this style, grips so well, sometimes it might get stuck inside your backpack because they do work very, very well. Whatever you put it on, it does grip extremely well. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, they're awesome. Also, it's a mini selfie stick. So I'll use the, the other one. See, you can just collapse it and use it like a selfie stick. You know, obviously, I'll give you a quick demo. See, like that. And I think I've got a battery in here now. Yes. See, so you could do your, your selfie thing, blah, blah, blah. You know, talk to yourself or get a selfie with you and your friends. Okay, so pretty straightforward, guys. But I, do, I did find them very durable. And as I said, you know, it took these kids some time to sit there, you know, really wrenching on it until, excuse me, excuse me, guys, until they eventually broke it. Um, um, yeah, so pretty straightforward. So very versatile. Uh, this does use a ball joint, but see how it's got a, I don't know what you call it, like a, an area it rides in, that, that cut. So what I'll do, I'll loosen it up. See, so you can only move in that, it does have a little bit of flexibility, but it can only move in there, so I find it keeps it very secure. And because it's plastic, the problem with the other one was it was metal, and metal is very smooth. So because it's plastic, it can really lock down. Actually, and, and it does have a, a, like a hole inside that this, this, uh, this screw runs inside. So it, it keeps it very strong and secure, especially for a lightweight camera. You know, GoPros, pocket cameras like this, you know, action cameras, sure. A heavier DSLR, obviously you're gonna need a much bigger, thicker version, okay? Get one that's suitable, otherwise it will fall over or you might break it and you might break your camera. So especially for small cameras like this, yeah. Very versatile, very handy. Uh, what else? You know, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, this does have a locking mechanism. They, they do vary, they are different variations. Okay, you'll see my links to Amazon and you'll see. See that quick release? Sorry, I'll do it again. Okay, see that, it's got a quick release. Okay, so for whatever reason, you need to slide off your camera. Um, there are types with a bubble leveler, a bubble level, so that way you know if you're level or not. Doesn't really matter, as I said, you just adjust it as you need. Again, why I find it so versatile. This one's a bit too stiff, meaning it's not flexible enough, so you will just be on these awkward angles all the time. This one, you can get the exact angle you want, up, down, forward, back, move the legs around, put it on a tree, put it on a chair, whatever you like. Okay, so I think you guys get the idea. You can also lock it. So guys, it's not easy looking through the viewfinder trying to, trying to do this on camera. Yeah, see, I've locked it. So now, there's no, there's no reason for that to accidentally get bumped and do the quick release. That is a standard quarter thread. Standard quarter thread, love it. And of course it will work with standard quarter thread cameras. So it's pretty universal these days. Uh, unless you've got some special camera that needs a special adapter, but again, you, you could use an adapter of some kind. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, very, very versatile, very handy. Even that rubberizing, very good grip, but also adds like a bit of padding for shock absorption and wear and tear. Um, and as I said, you know, you can, you can use them anyways as a selfie stick or whatever. So like I said, I paid $30 for this originally and I was, I was very happy to. It, it, it served me very well for three years, as I said. Okay, very good. I actually found this online for even cheaper for about $15. So it may differ in your locality. This one's uh, Matten. Okay. Uh, you know how it is, guys. Some of these products, when they come from Asia, it's literally, as you can see, this one has no name. But it's the exact same... See, just different color, exact same product. Uh, both, you know, excellent quality. Both the, I've inspected it; they're like exactly the same. Just that 
Matten has put their brand. So if you if you find it hard, especially if you're in Australia, you might find it hard to find them. You can you could look that up. But if you're in US, uh, you're in luck. On Amazon USA, I'm a, a, an affiliate. So go ahead and check the description section for the links, and they're very affordable, like uh, fourteen or fifteen dollars. And as I said, for the versatility and the use and the durability, uh, great value, great value for money. So okay, guys, look, thanks for watching. I uh, hope I didn't speak too long. And you know, check out the YouTube uh, main page and subscribe um, if you feel like it. Uh, check out the Facebook page, uh, you know, the Amazon store with the links. And look, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and I'm literally getting ready to go to the Philippines. So seriously, uh, I've got to hurry up. That's why I'm getting all these reviews done. So I will be going to the Philippines very, very soon. So you, the next videos you see will probably be of uh, Philippines season three, my, my next trip. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.